Are you looking for a light, warm interior paint color for your home that's not a taupe, it's not a beige, it's not a cool gray, it's not a cream? Then perhaps you might want to try out Benjamin Moore going to the chapel. I know it's a weird name. I get it. But don't let that name fool you. This is one of hundreds of paint colors that I use every year. And I'm not known for working strictly with popular paint colors. And I definitely don't have go-to paint colors. What I'm known for is creating a timeless and transitional paint colors for my online clients. And Benjamin Moore, going to the chapel is one of them when paired correctly. Benjamin Moore going to the chapel is a complex neutral and the best way to explain it is by comparing it with other paint colors. So I'm gonna show you the undertones by comparing it with some other contrasting paint colors so that you can see the undertones yourself. And next, I'm gonna compare it with some other complex neutrals so that you can get a better idea of what this paint color looks like. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about how lighting will influence how going to the chapel could look like in your home. Now watch what happens when I compare it with Sharon Williams peppercorn, which is considered a charcoal gray. Watch this. When you compare peppercorn with Benjamin Moore going to the chapel, you can instantly see the beige undertones in going to the chapel. Now watch what happens when I compare it with Benjamin Moore papaya, which is considered an orange beige. Watch this. When you compare papaya with going to the chapel, you're gonna instantly see the gray undertones in going to the chapel and notice the green undertones in going to the chapel. So what you need to know about Benjamin Moore going to the chapel is that it's a complex neutral. It's a grayish, which means it's a mix of a beige, a little bit of a gray, and it has just a hint of a green undertone. It's also known to be a chameleon. So lighting is gonna play a big role on how this paint color could look like in your home. And I'm gonna talk about that towards the end of this video. Next, I'm going to compare going to the chapel with some other complex neutrals to help give you an idea of what this paint color looks like. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Halo, which is considered a complex grayish, and it's got a little bit of a green undertone to it as well. Watch this. When you compare Halo with going to the chapel, you're gonna notice how going to the chapel is lighter than Halo. And also notice how going to the chapel, you don't see much of that green undertone that you see in Halo. And notice how going to the chapel is warmer than Halo. It looks like a beige, but it's not because that little bit of gray and that little bit of green undertone in going to the chapel is muting the yellow undertones in going to the chapel. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore French canvas, which is considered a complex neutral and it has a green undertone. Watch this. When you compare French canvas with going to the chapel, you're gonna notice a few things. Number one, French canvas is cooler than going to the chapel. Going to the chapel, it's warmer than French canvas. You're also gonna notice how French canvas, it reads more of that green undertone, that gray undertone. And notice how going to the chapel, it looks more like a beige, but it's not. And you have that touch of gray and that little bit of green, and that's what's muting that yellow from looking like a typical beige in going to the chapel. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore gray mist, which is considered a green gray grayish. Watch this. When you compare gray mist with going to the chapel, you're gonna notice how going to the chapel reads more like a beige. And you're also gonna notice how going to the chapel, it just doesn't read like a gray, like gray mist. So the bottom line is this. Benjamin Moore going to the chapel is not considered a light warm gray. It's too warm. It looks like a beige. However, it's got just enough gray and a little bit of a green undertone and that's what's muting the yellow. So it's a complex neutral grayish. No matter what, I highly recommend you get a sample of going to the chapel and compare it with your fixed elements and your interior decor. I want you to get this right and I don't want you to make a costly mistake. For those of you that wanna get it right the first time and you're tired of trying sample after sample and you wanna create that 
timeless transitional color palette in your home, highly recommend you to go to my website, check out my online packages. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. And please read the reviews. I have over 500 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm going to talk about lighting. When it comes to lighting, going to the chapel is known to be a chameleon. And that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. It just depends on how you compare it with your fixed elements and your interior decor and obviously being mindful on the type of lighting that you have in your home. But for those of you that have a south facing room expect it to look like a beige but it's not it's going to have a little bit of gray to it and it's just going to have just a hint of a green it's going to make that space feel warm and inviting but for those of you that have a north facing room or really just any room that doesn't receive a lot of natural lighting expect it to lean more on the gray side and the green undertone is going to be a little bit more pronounced but that's not a bad thing as long as you pair it correctly it's a beautiful paint color. I've used this many times over the years. Wow. If you found this video helpful, please put a like, let me know. And if you want to get the most in-depth reviews about paint colors, I upload three new videos every week. I would love to have you here and please subscribe. And for those of you that want to create a timeless and transitional color palette in your home, highly recommend you to go to my website. I would love to help you. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.